you always tell us that you just sort of let the game come to you. And But tonight, did you feel like you took it to the game a little bit when you first got out there in that first quarter? Uh, I don't think so. I just uh, uh, try to go out there and see. Um, first of all, I watch from the bench, um, talking to the guys, looking at how um, the game is being played, and I'm um, going out there and uh, trying to impact the game where I see that I can and just uh, take what the defense is giving me and and just stay confident in my reads and uh, just try to uh, follow the game flow. Norma, Reed Forgrave, CBS Sports. Uh, you guys were like, crisper and uh, seemed to get everyone involved more this game than any game this series. And I'm curious if you could help describe like the co collective mentality of your team on offense when when that sort of stuff is going on, when you're playing with that sort of energy and cohesiveness. I think uh, the, the coaches have done a great job of uh, breaking down the film for us and seeing where we can improve and um, uh, attack the defenses and um, seeing how, how they're playing us. And uh, especially uh, with, with Kawhi having the ball, he draws so much attention. So it's uh, opening up a lot for us um, on, the, on the weak side. And um, we're just trying to play through him a little bit, play through Mark. Um, it, Mark's done a phenomenal job of, of breaking down defenses when he has the ball up top um, on cuts, on, on screens. And, um, you know, I think uh, we're just playing for one another. You know, everybody's talking on, on what we see and how we can uh, get better looks, get uh, good looks, and trying to get a shot up every time down. And we're staying confident in one another. You know, we're talking to each other on, on different shots, different reads that are there, maybe they missed, or, or um, <clears throat> shots that they could have took it, could have taken. And uh, we've just been doing that uh, uh, since uh, the first two games. Uh, to Ian, who's standing up on your left here, Norman. Hey, Norm. Ian Harrison, Associated Press. How much has the, have the events of the past couple of games changed this team's mindset heading now into game five? Um, I think uh, the, the first two games, uh, they, they really brought the intensity to us. You know, they, they really came out and, and were more physical, were more active, and um, we wanted to change that narrative. Um, coming home, we wanted to protect home court. We wanted to come out with a lot of juice, uh, be the aggressors, be more physical, and take the game to them. And I think uh, we really did that, um, uh, these uh, game three and game four, uh, being able to be the aggressors on defense, being tied in on the, the fundamentals. Of, of our defense and everybody's been rotating. Our communications got a lot better um, here at home and we just got to do that on the road. Uh, to Eric Smith, who's at the very back there. Norm, Eric Smith, Sportsnet. When you look collectively at the postseason overall, do you think this was your team's most complete effort that we've seen thus far? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I think, uh, um, I mean, it helps when, when guys who um, uh, come in who haven't been hitting the shots that they, they normally uh, make uh, come in and, and, and take their shots with confidence still, you know, and then we got a big contribution from um, our bench, uh, Serge, Fred, and me just came in, um, wanted to be the aggressors and set the tone. Um, uh, we done all postseason talking to each other on game in, game out, and how we can help and how we can contribute. And um, I thought we did a great job of, uh, of doing that today, getting everybody involved, getting everybody touches um, in the flow in their spots. I think, uh, like I said before, the coach has done a great job of breaking down the offense of where we can attack them and, and get guys easier looks. Thanks very much, everyone.